State Transfer is a special monthly event that lasts for six days, where in this event players from each state can move to the state they want, but the distance and age of the state is not too far from their original state. And State Transfer is divided into three phases. The first is Phase 1, Pre-Transfer, where in this phase, each president determines the power cap threshold for players who want to join their state. And during this phase, we can check the list of servers which are eligible for us to enter. To make things easier, so that you don't have difficulty deciding which server you want to choose, you can submit your questions via transfer chat and find out which servers are open for you to enter. Make sure you get a server and alliance that can help you become stronger. Then in the second phase, namely invitational transfer. In this phase, the president of each server can invite players from other states to be transferred before other players through ordinary and special invites. Where ordinary invites are invitations to players who have a power cap that matches the threshold that has been created by the server president. Meanwhile, special invites are usually reserved for players with a power cap that exceeds a predetermined threshold. Each president from each state can have three special invites, and one special invite will be returned every first at the beginning of the month. And you need to remember that you can only have a maximum of three special invites. And you need to know that states with states with leading status do not have the opportunity to do special invites on other chiefs. And in the third phase, namely transfer opens. In this phase, all players can make large-scale transfers to the state they want and according to their power cap threshold. So if you are a solo player, you can change states in this third phase. However, my advice is to try to communicate first with players from your destination state so that after you move servers, you can immediately have a place to live and grow safely on the new server. And after you know the basics of these three phases, now you need to know about the eight mandatory requirements before transferring state. The first is that players cannot exceed the power cap threshold that has been determined by the president on the server. For this problem, you communicate again with the player or president of the server, if possible, ask the president to give you special invites. But if not, then there are only two choices left. Either you change the destination of your server, or you have to decrease or increase your power according to the requested power cap. The second requirement is the furnace level. For these requirements, you can check in each state and check in the transfer requirement column what furnace level can enter that server. If your furnace level matches the state's request, then you just have to enter when the transfer phase is fully open. The third requirement is that your city is not currently in combat. Usually, this requirement will not be so difficult to fulfill if your state has implemented a non-aggression pact or NAP with the top 5 or 10 alliances. The fourth requirement is not a part of any alliance. You can fulfill these requirements quite easily. If you already have a stated goal, then you can leave your current alliance and join new states and alliances later when the phase 1 or 2 is fully open. The fifth requirement is not a president. This requirement will probably be quite easy for you to fulfill, especially if you are not a top player on your current server, so I don't think there is a need to explain further about this. However, if you are the active president and want to move, maybe you can move that position to another player in the next castle battle and change state in the next transfer event. The sixth requirement is that there are no active troops in the infirmary and enlistment office. You need to remember these requirements as best as possible, knowing that the transfer event appears after states of power, where here your city is most likely to receive an attack which causes very large casualties in your troops, so it will take quite a long time for you to be able to recover these troops, so I need to remind you, if you don't participate in castle battle, then activate your 24-hour shield during the state of power event, so that after the transfer event comes, you can. Prepare your city to be moved to a new server. Don't be like me who just lost 100 million power due to negligence in activating the shield on my city. And the seventh requirement is more than 30 days have passed since last transfer. If you have never made a transfer like me, then you don't need to worry about this. However, for those of you who have made a previous transfer, make sure you calculate the time interval between your transfers so that it is at least more than 30 days before you can make the next transfer. And the eighth requirement is to have a maximum of four characters in the target state. I think this requirement will not be difficult to fulfill, especially if you only use one account to play. However, for those of you who are hard players, maybe you need to know that you can only put four characters into the same state. And after you know about the transfer requirements, now you need to know how much it costs to make a transfer. To make a transfer, 
you need something called transfer passes, where you can get these transfer passes by purchasing a transfer pass pack on the regular pack tab in the top up center. Or you can buy it using alliance tokens in the alliance shop menu. Whichever you do, you will get transfer passes, and you need at least 5 transfer passes. And you need to know, the higher your transfer score, the greater the transfer fee. Where this transfer score is calculated from overall battle power, such as furnace level, chief gear and charms, hero power, hero gear power, and pet power. In short, the greater your power, the more expensive the transfer cost will be. And for a complete discussion of what happens after you transfer your city to a new state, we will discuss it after I make the transfer, which I can probably do next month, knowing that so many of my troops are in the enlistment office, which is really unfortunate. However, if you have questions or other opinions regarding our previous discussion, feel free to share them in the comments section. And we will meet again in the next Wideout Survival video.